All right, give me a moment to get things adjusted and change things up on Twitch so I can say, hey, now we're playing Soma. So give me a moment. Gonna be making the changes. Gonna be making an announcement. Oh, that's not the right thing. Um, there we go. Oh, pause the stream. Give me a second. We're gonna be continuing in a moment with a soma. I almost forgot that uh, Soma takes place underwater in some underwater facility, not some outer space facility. It's still a little bit sci-fi, but it's close to home, literally. Okay, now for the Tumblr announcement, and then we'll go from there. Um, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate dashboard, thank you. Good thing I don't have this on the stream. <laughs> um, give me a sec. Oh, dang it. Alright, making a little note saying we finished chapter 1 and 2 of Bendy. Um, I th yeah, as f unfortunately, we won't be able to make it to many conventions this year since we are going to be in the middle of moving in August, and we're also trying to save money to make sure that everything goes well for the move and everything in general. So as much as I would love to say yes, that m it's likely going to be a new, even though I would want to say possibly, but you do what you gotta do to get by and survive as is life. So, now, I think we shall play Soma. It's fun to say Soma, even though it looks like an acronym. It's probably going to be something I find out when I play through the game more, or maybe not. Who knows? I'm going in blind like I did going blind when I went and played Bendy. Uh, at last, no. There we go. Okay, time to load. Also, forgive the dark lighting, I haven't turned the light on. I think it's probably better in the dark. It kind of gives you more of that immersive feel. Initialization. I sincerely hope I don't have to start over, but... It's been a while since I played, so probably wouldn't hurt to play over anyways. I'll probably skip through a lot of the beginning if it is a start over situation. Ooh, I do have a feeling that I didn't have a saved file. Adjust gamma so you can barely make out the details on the robot poster on the left. Well, I don't want it to be too dark for you guys not to be able to see. Okay, whatever is going on is automatically adjusting, so I don't believe that I'm going to be able to make any differences in my gamma. Okay, so I did get to uh, keep my save. I really wish I knew what I was doing, and hopefully there's a way to uh, see what I need to do next. Because I kind of forgot what's going on. Let's continue! Catherine's Ark Project was meant to save humanity, 
but it is stuck deep within the abyss. They need to go to Theta and find the Dunbat, the only vehicle that can stand the pressure of the abyss. To get there, Simon hopes to find the shipwreck of the Curie, Curie, and hijack an emergency vehicle vessel. Yeah, the good old loading screen. Oh yeah, since this is actually a better computer, it should probably play the game a lot better than the laptop I had did. I mean, I still have that laptop, but I'm not using it as much unless I'm going to be traveling. Then again, I have a cell phone, which is essentially a computer now, thanks to the smartphone technology. As far as theories go with what's going on in here, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of problems. I feel kind of bad because I kind of forgot a lot of what happened in this game. <laughs> I'm guessing with, uh, oh, with a better computer and better graphics. Eh, a little bit of lag. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're good. I was going to be annoyed because this is a new computer that has power. Okay. Oh, hey, I can make a noise. Ew. I'm not going to poke that anus. Um, flashlight, inventory, oops, okay, I have that device to access doors and stuff. Well, I guess it's re-exploration time because it's been ages since I played this game. Swipe on your tool. Oh, wait a second. I didn't want to leave yet. Dang it. Gonna give me a green light. Yeah, hold on. I wanna try and explore the inside of this place first. Okay. I'm just willing to bet some alien infestation is the cause of this crazy infestation. There's always something alien. I mean, that's usually how a lot of these sci-fi horrors work. Okay, bent through there. You know, okay, I know I did an upgrade in here. I recall that. Okay, as I explore this place, I will be reminded of what I did mostly. Ah, pills here.
So I go from one puzzle, puzzle horror to another puzzle horror. Okay, a dead end. Hard hat. Um. Well, that one doesn't do anything. The alien buttholes do nothing. I'm so mature. Oh, now you start panting. I'm gonna guess that load screen was probably my hint. I have heard of the new Alien movie, but I uh, currently don't uh, know what's going on in within it. The last one I saw was Prometheus. Okay, dokey. Excuse me. Mmm, Jamba Juice. Oh, where's Sparky? Where's our. What's our technological robo buddy? Oh. Uh, huh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing? Simon. Right? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Chun. Oh, great, we crashed already. Sorry, it's dead. Worth a shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Okay, I still feel a little bit lost, but I'm gonna still try my best to catch up. Okay, that's the most it goes up. As I bonk my head in the handlebar! Um... Well, since I'm just about caught up on the old recordings for my Finders of Freddy's streams, I'm thinking that since, um... Five Nights at Freddy's is now more of a rage series, I'm gonna probably have the Doctor and his anger going on. So, if the request is large enough, or just in general, I could probably do the Doctor again for Five Nights at Freddy's. But for Bendy, I'm not sure if I want to have myself or the Doctor, because I was enjoying that game as myself. It's a pretty nice game. Definitely a nice, new, unique take on survival, well, puzzle horror, I guess? Well, no, no, wait. Survival puzzle horror, I guess, is what you can probably consider it. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh, jeez. Fine. Excuse me. Sorry. That's one angry little robot. Oh, hey, I can almost Skyrim climb. And up. <laughs> uh. So I'm guessing when it comes to people dying, the, a the little droids get angry. I seem to remember the AI was someone, but got turned into an AI, I think. 
I really should be more prepared for these kind of things. Is that Sparky? Hey, it's Sparky. Hey, buddy. Um... Well, I guess... Since... I don't have many other options, I guess I have to go back this way. Follow the light. Go towards the light. Oh! Don't go towards the light. That's a bad idea. Don't go towards the light. Okay! Don't go towards the light! Well... My assumption is that that's where we need to go! Freaking static TV face thing. Is he gone? Okay, he's gone. Hello, little crab. I relate to you. I'm a cancer. Click clack. Don't you love indicators being indic- uh, indicatory? Don't you love when an enemy pops up as an indicator that you're doing things like progress? Come on, Chun. Chun? Chun? I don't know how to pronounce her name right now. Uh, no, that is way sealed. Um, well, that's our only option. Oh, yeah, I forgot how cool the underwater suit looks. Speaking of the Abyss, has anyone ever seen the movie The Abyss? Pretty good for its time. I recommend watching it if you like a underwater horror that kind of is like this, but not... It's kind of like this, but it's before the whole degradation of everything. And then again, there wasn't a degradation in the movie anyways. It was... I'm not going to spoil it. It's a good movie to watch if you want to see under underwater horror action. Underwater action horror. I have a feeling something is around the corner. Or around that stone. Right up there. Something is around here. Something is here. What is it? What's here? What's here? What's following me? What's trying to look at me? What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Um, language. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on my swearing if I'm going to be playing the doctor again because he's going to have to use those replacement swears I had. <laughs> Me, personally, I'm kind of loosening up on my language barrier, on my language limits. I'll probably be going like, Holy feckin' fickacy! As the doctor. So far, nothing but little jump scares. Um... Well... Oh, it's a shark! A hammerhead! Music is usually a good indicator of progress. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh god, what's going on? Who sees me? What's going on?
Well, I guess either way, I have to go this direction. Exploration. 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 Just look at those gloves. Isn't that fancy? Red light. Green light. Static. That's a bad sign. What? I can't... Oh, no, I can't. I guess I can't go up. Yep, yay for sectional stairs in different sections. Part of me thinks that this guy's a little bit insane. Or a little bit infected. Lighting changed. Loading! Damn! Alright, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. Oh, yeah, you're never gonna escape. You know how these things work. Hey, water physics. Boop a doop. Oh, come on. Come on, open up. Oh, I guess you're locked. Never mind. Emergency shuttle. Yeah, it's so direct. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, bodily noises. If we're not coughing or gassing up a whole storm of gas. With belches and farts. Yeah, toilet humor's a real gasser. Okay, Geode Head. Oh, God! Okay, we're out. Peace out. No way. Time to run past the Mr. G. Okay, one and done. Well, I think we should probably turn the flashlight off. Okay, that's totally fair. Limp away, limp away. Yeah, this is fair. Oh, great. It's one of those situations where you have to walk around the enemy. I hate these type of situations. Let's be very careful. Where is he? Oh, he's over that way.
Yeah, I'm a little bit spooked at the moment. Thankfully, they don't know how to open doors. I think this is a little bit of a cheat because I'm getting a little bit of static when he's nearby. Oh, he's very close. Yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. Yeah, I kind of thought Bioshock. It's kind of like if Bioshock met Amnesia. He saw me. Am I still limping? Yep, still limping. No! Oh god. Well, I'm a little bit stuck. Um... Well, the thing is, I'm a part of multiple groups on Skype, so it may not always be me directly as far as who people are trying to message. There's like city, there's several groups of people who are usually chatting on and off. Close. That's a very cheap looking static screen, I'm sorry. Okay, there are all these lights here, but I don't see anything of usage. Oh, don't you have a nice face? I mean, really, it's a nice face. Ah, skull and bones. Okay, Geode Head. I want to say Geode Head because I can't think of any other name for him with that very lit head of his. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh shit. Nope. Stay away from the door. Nope. Stay away from the door. Good. They have no concept of opening doors that slide.
Yeah, these enemies kind of have this weird habit of shaking everything. <laughs> it's sensational. I'm telling you, I'm totally humorous. <laughs> Okay, I think. Holy moly. I guess I have to say all my puns in the Sans voice. I can't speak in Comic Sans. Are you crazy? Oh, dang it. Ah, safety of doors. Thank you, good door. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. But I know it's something that has to do with getting over here. And... Hmm... I gotta get over there somehow. Open the door. Close this door slightly. You know what? If I get noticed by this guy, I'm just gonna run around regardless. Oh yeah, you can teleport. I almost forgot about that. Okay, uh, there's a little pathway I'm missing because he was able to go behind that glass. So I have to get around him and then, uh, well, hopefully get to that door which gets me over to the escape vessel. The escape vessel, which will work. Because games are always so short when the escape vessel works. <laughs> yeah, and they never work. Come on, keep limping. All right. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna close it. Oh, I guess I can't close the door. I move in circles. Pardon me as I run to the other end. Oh, this is a bright idea. A nice little dead end for myself. Oh, shh. Well, it was nice knowing you, buddies. But I think I've been found. Go the other way. Go the other way. If I crouch down, I can pretend to be a chair. There. I can pretend to be a chair and you won't see me. Because chairs always worked in the, all of the Amnesia games. Well... Except for the second one, because you couldn't exactly move as many things. Okay! This guy... This guy right here, he wants to keep me staying and stay in one place, you know. Nice guy! Nice guy. Yeah.
Limp it off. Limp it off. Yep. I'm pretty sure that thing can't exactly climb up ladders either. So two weaknesses. Doors and ladders. But... He has the ability to teleport. So... That will likely mean, hey, he is here to bug me again on a different floor. Or there's more than one. I'm going to open this door in case I need an escape route. Oh, great. A bathroom with a sideways toilet. Who's crapping sideways? Emergency shuttle. I am saved! I will get out of here alive, and most certainly not have any more issues to deal with, such as staying in this area where there are things that are trying to kill me. Things that are weirdly infested with some kind of alien biology. Oh, hey, I was right. No, wrong way. Alrighty. This is the kitchen. With tons of barnacles. Just think of a chair. Be the chair. Be the chair. Have a leg up on things. Be seated. <laughs> well, I can't survive by just staying around in here. Well, I guess I have to stay around in here because apparently he's outside the door. You know, this isn't exactly all that creepy as much as it is a little bit anxiety given. So, Mr. Geode Head. Look at me. I am escaping. Huh? What? Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Landa. <laughs> the more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm going. Good luck, Sammy. I knew it had to be something. Got to use the fire extinguisher. Well, he's nearby. <sighs> Kindly scoot. If I was a video game superhero... Mm. I would love to have hopes and dreams as my theme, maybe. Um, 
or maybe just that song is a favorite of mine from Undertale because I really like Undertale. It's real good. Something is stabilizing the ship. We need to let it know this is an emergency. Uh, the Undertale stream for Doctor and Derpy or for me? Oh, come on. All right, to the bathroom. Or to the kitchen. Um, that one is currently undetermined uh, for Dr. and Derpy. I would I will let you guys know on my Tumblr as well as uh, my Discord and everywhere else I can. But uh, for the next things we'd be doing, that will be after I finish the replay of Undertale, since, again, it has to do with an old lost save file, and I need to refinish the pacifist or true pacifist route before we can continue on to the genocide route, because we plan to go into do genocide. And we're going to break your hearts. No problema. All right. Tiptoe past the geode head because he's a butthole. Get out of the engine room. I swear to God. Um, I have heard of Ponytown, but I haven't, uh, checked it out in a while. Isn't that the one with the pixelated pony avatars? This dude's giving me a headache. Does he ever leave that stinking room? What are those things? They look like people, really messed up people. I think they could be dead people brought back. To life? Sure. Well, let's call it that. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice little thing to have a little bit of banter on an in-between like that. Yeah. Once I get past Mr. Geodehead. I get to proceed, finally. Or maybe not. Just kindly scoot out of my way! Oh, a comet is coming. Great. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be stuck here a little bit. Oh, great. I did autosave. Something is stabilizing the ship. We need to let it know this is an emergency. 
I'm really annoyed by the fact that this freaking Oh crap. Close. Oh. Thank God he doesn't know how to open doors. <laughs> Yeah, Faputa was a good episode. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't have the next line I can say because spoilers and because the script isn't final. So, I mean, we're kind of towards the end of the script, but we're trying to get a lot of the stuff done. And since even though and even though I am boyfriends with the director, um. It's not the script hasn't been finalized, so we can't all get recordings in yet. So I do apologize, but the script hasn't been shared with me yet. I need Okay, come over here. Come here. Come here. Come on. I gotta watch this guy now. Chase me. Come on. Oh, he teleports. You can't catch me! You can't catch me! Attention crew, this is your captain speaking. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I made it! Oh! That doesn't sound too good. Oh jeez. Um I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, this guy is a real pain. Oh my god, did I just randomly go one direction and find my way through? Let's just close this door and hope we don't have to deal with Geode Head. Oh, come on. Oh, great, I lagged for a second. That means something's at the other side of the door. Well, this means... Oh! Hmm, coolant efficiency. I guess I have to destroy this room. <laughs> Reactor temp. Service required. Well, let's see what happens if I do this. Warning. Reactor collapse imminent. Proceed to the emergency business. Oh. Oh, no. Went the wrong way, didn't I? 
Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! I didn't make it out in time. I mean, I'm hoping that's saved. I want to check something, because I thought I left that door open. Let me check this. Let's heal up. Okay. Well, that's nice. Make sure all avenues are explored. Don't go that way. Okay, definitely don't go that way. Uh, don't go that way. All right, I'll have to go that way. Okay. Warning. Reactor collapse. All right. Let's run. So glad I left that door open. Go down, dang it. Okay, doki. The man thing doesn't know. And crash landing. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. Thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like... Uh, it's more like a cancer. Oh great, it's an AI. It Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Brace for impact! 
so it's not alien, it's AI. Yeah, I'm playing this game blind, so remember, don't spoil! So, the WAB or the WOW? Oh, a flesher, okay. So, if it's not... So, I guess it's more than just alien, if it's not... Come on, get up. If it's not an alien, it's AI. Come on, get up. Is that you? Hey, Sparky. It's another little crab. Yeah, I guess I can actually call him Sparky now because he actually used sparks to get me out. Well, Dead Space would be an optional game if I can get it to work right with my controls. Last time I played it, last time I played it, I had a lag on the controls, and that wasn't any fun. Delta. It's an assembly line, or a loader line, or manufacturing line. I mean. So apparently, yeah, I got crabs. <laughs> apparently there's a comet hitting Earth and a cancerous AI. Well, we got to this by needing to finish this game. And, well... I didn't have any other options for what was needing to be finished. I will do new games, but I wanted to continue this since it's been a while. And because it was a fun game to begin with. Survival permitting. I really... Oh, Sparky's following me. That's cute. Come on, Sparky. Well, I guess that's another person. Yeah. You put in a good word for me? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Another person that got turned into AI, apparently. Brandon, did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Man, you can really tell when that thing is off platform. This place turns into such a locker room. Not in a good way, either.
Um. Hey, can you hear me? Don't stand there. You know better than that. Listen. Make yourself useful. Hey, you. Help me out here, will you? Hey, can you hear me? Give me some room, will you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're so full of shit, Brandon. Oh my god. Payload manager Alice Coster shows up. Hey, you. Make yourself useful. You'd let her manage your payload? Why? That doesn't even make Well, I'm a human as far as I know. Just in a very fancy underwater suit. Sorry, Sparky. Gotta go for now. Oh, that's pleasant. My reflection is in the black blood of our warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen. Okay. Chess, really? No way. Error, corrupt opponent. I guess it's probably our evil cancerous AI. Well, I guess we're gonna have to play some chess to uh, get through this as well. The light is hurting my eyes. Her telling me I don't need this I... I can't read that. Flesh... Something. It's this something flesh inside my skull to be salvation. I will gladly remove them. Stop them from obfuscating the... something... Mission. Okay. I'm ticked, I can't read. What's this say? Alper X. Hey, cards. But are they cards against humanity? Ha ha ha. Oh, hey. Oh, great. It's exciting to watch WoW claim Delta half a year ago. I'd be worried I'd have Goya and Juan clean the black blood from the machinery. Now its crusty surfaces seem to complement even outshine what Delta was. Great. Someone's in support of the AI. Divine mission. Thank you. Hey, Sparky. Forget it, Akers. I'm not playing with you anymore. As if chess wasn't boring enough. You just have to go and win in four moves. Oh, gotta... great. Did you move the outer shields? No, the same one, the yielder. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not technically a shield. Never mind, I found it. Hey, Sparky, I know. I'm trying to figure it out. Hey! Link established. 840. I wonder what that means. Oh, 
Nope. All right. Hey. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I guess I can consider the black blood the ink of this place. <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of fits. I go from one game of ink and now I go from a game to a game of black blood from AI. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what exactly this is supposed to do for me, but I'm sure I'll find out. Well, time to explore a little more. That guy can't help me yet. Rest in shut. Damn. Probably for the best. Not sure I trust the shuttle train anymore. <laughs> um, control room. All right, let's go around. Can I access the control room? Possibly, possibly not. I guess that's a possibly not. Oh, Sparky, thank you. Good job there, Sparky. Well, if Sparky gets his door open for us... I still have a feeling I'm going to lose Sparky at some point. Well, I guess this is how we're going to get into Delta. Did that do anything? Okay, I'm guessing that the AI of that little other drone um, said that fuck you, Acres. 2104. Okay, so we're less than 100 years in the future. Very nice. Zep. Distraski Theta. Subject, Zep. Acres is doing this some strange shit. He just took the Zeppelin back to Theta. Don't let him duck. Shut it the fuck down. Well, isn't that nice? I guess we should send it. Oh! Unable to establish link. Okay, I'm guessing we have to do something with, uh... The, uh... Communication array. All right, this is going to be a little confusing at first. Um Let's check out the auxiliary station. Actually, let's check out this other little area right over here. Okay, there's the track. So Okay, that means... Come along, Sparky! Hmm... That's Sparky, I don't really know if I'm going the right way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sparky. Well, I'm gonna try and access this area real quick and see if this does anything. Ah, the AI butthole. 
I don't need to be healed yet, but this will definitely come in handy. Yeah, I agree. These computers work amazingly well despite being completely engulfed in water and pressure. K8. UH8. Intelligence AN7U. Class Light Universal Helper. Oh, Kate. Oh, I get it. So Sparky is actually named Kate. While Kate lacks a voice module, it is able to communicate via simplified sounds and lights. Well, that's cute. Bull. <laughs> I guess Bull is the name of our... Yep, that's our guy. Because he is full of Bull. <laughs> Intelligence Complex AN5U. Topa. Um... Intelligence Complex AN7U, Class Mini, UH, Remote Pilot, NA. Was that the guy who was a little bit cheesed off? Or was it this one? Qualia. Intelligence Basic A2U, Research Vessel. Remote Pilot, Mandatory. Note, this vessel has basic intelligence only. A pilot is needed to fully utilize its equipment. Well, I still kind of want to call Kate Sparky since kind of got attached to that name. I might just, I'll alternate. Yeah, this is going to be a case of switching from place to place, isn't it? Yeah, the Lambda is going to be Delta. Then we're going to go to Theta and then Omic Omicron. So yay for the puzzles of underwater horror. Alright, I'm a little bit discombobulated. Okay, here was the other place. Yeah. Pardon me, Sparky. Oh yeah, sealed. Oh. Oh, I just came from here. Zeppelin transport. I'm guessing it's probably the crashed Zeppelin or something. Oh, hello. I guess saying something isn't very good here. Yeah. Well, Sparky. Oh, here we go. Uh, shipping malfunction, Haimatsu set, uh, frame components. I'm fine, the Lambda, Pascal cartridge to theta, fuselage to from lambda, arc shell to phi, delta evacuation to theta, Komarebi survey group from theta, unspecified to theta. Hmm. Oh, okay, now I can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Echo. Zeppelin 216. Ah, uh, let's try 840 and 049, if I can find my way. Uh, crud. There we go. Oh, five. 
All right, let's try 049. That's 049. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. The Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Oh, all right. I think we'll do okay. Listen to this real quick. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. Uh, guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> uh, see you soon, Brandon. Happy you back. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. Akers. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Uh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. See you when you get here. <laughs> well, that's nice. But I do agree. Delta here is a lot more peaceful than having to run around that flesher. Let's try 840. If we can. I want to check it. Okay. Excuse me, Sparky. Whoops. Why would you want to go to Theta? I lost myself a bit again. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, I guess I can't access it now. Oh well. I'm not being greedy. I'm just trying to check what the echo sounded like. All right. Ah. Calm down. We're safe. <laughs> oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Uh oh. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, great. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. We have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Oh, great. Can you me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us a chip. Oh. <laughs> 
I kind of feel like Chun over here is a little bit evil. I mean, look, doesn't she kind of have the wow on her? I, I feel awful. The robots only appear intelligent. They're much more like dogs than humans. I wouldn't hit a dog. Sorry, a poor choice of words. I don't want to hurt anything. Well, we need a tool chip or we're stuck here. Take the stun baton from the box I opened and hunt down a robot with a working tool chip. I don't feel good about this. Another case of psychological authoritative bullcrap. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. Well, I don't want to do Sparky because I always get help from him. Oh my god. That means both of them. Oh jeez. That's not a it's not so much a stun gun as it is a kill gun. God dang, he's leaking oil. Um Try this again. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Gee, a little bit of Bioshocky here, aren't we? So, everyone's a robot. Everyone's AI. Great. I'm really starting to feel like she's the eventual villain. Oh, crud, I guess I missed some stuff. Oh well. Dang it. I hear tense music. This isn't good. You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunvac, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. 
We don't have to worry, though, because with the dumb bat, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. Yeah, I thought it said it hurts, and that made me feel bad. Listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, it's a good thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, oh, the Kath. artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? Wow, you're you're really commanding. You have some ulterior motive. Well, since we've landed at Theta, well, since we landed at Theta, it's around that time, and actually past that time for. The stream to finish for now but i will continue soma next week and i will try to upload as much as i can in between but as always thank you for watching very much i'm just a day rama i will be in the chat a little bit uh, to hang out and chat as always but good morning good afternoon good evening good night i shall see you guys next time love you Yeah, I think Kath is that creepy face thing. Oh. Well. Oh. Thank you for following Silver Rain. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm kind of thinking, should I just kind of extend this on for like a half an hour to an hour? Because I don't really have anything else going on. Eh, I'll give a bonus half hour, do a little bit of an encore time. So... Simon and Catherine are going to Theta, where they hope to find the Dunbat, a vehicle made for extreme pressure environments. Only with the Dunbat will they be able to enter the Abyss and find the Lost Ark. So yeah, you guys get a little bit of bonus time. I've been streaming for th over three hours, and I'm going to need to do a lot of catching up on YouTube, but at this rate, I might need to do like three videos a weekday. <laughs> Or have, like, like, occasional weeks where I do three videos a weekday. Because doing, like, over three hours and putting it into a week, I can only put up, like, two and a half hours worth of videos. Let's go through the big door. Into the large facility where we might only be walking through a small section. Oh, jeez.
I guess I turn it this way. Okay, there we go. Hey, animated door, very nice. And what we get, a door! Don't you just love video games that make you question your moral fiber? The Dunbat. Oh man. <laughs> So, what are we going to run into this time? Ah, a nice lit up room. Which I'm sure will turn into darkness soon. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Uh, nope, can't go there. How long until something AI wise tries to kill me? Because I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be a vicious loop of killing AI that used to be human. Yes, to kill the humans that were once. Kill the AI that were once humans. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do... Yep. Yeah, I didn't think I could pass through here that fast. Well, I wanted to leave Sparky alive since Sparky is... Sparky was more lucid than Bull. And Sparky's helped me in different areas. Okay, just made it in and I'm already stuck. Hmm. Um, okay. Physics puzzle. The simplest of physics puzzles. Ha! Bathroom. Like, I need one for my AI. Squeeze me. Stress ball. That's a very angular stress ball. <laughs> that webcam looks a little bit old school. I thought they would make them a lot more sleek by this time. We're here? We're here! Okay, great! Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. Uh. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. <laughs> if this is one of a kind, then how did they get the ark down the abyss in the first place? I'll ask Bendy for a can of That's soup. That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? 
You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself. Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. So Here we go. The Dunbat. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. <laughs> hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Yeah, just let's find the infested robots. Now, as I was going to say... The Ark, is that essentially kind of like the library from Doctor Who? Where everyone is saved? Hey, is Catherine going to try and save everyone like that? Eh, let me through. Well, that might have been a bit more handy if I actually <laughs> used the door. Um. Oh. All right. Let's see what's down here. Okay, one of the heal anuses. The healing anus. Oh great, it's going to be a maze. What happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Oh sh- There's going to be something around the corner already, is there? Isn't there? Pneumatic seal. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is pl place. This place is a maze already. Where the hell did they all go? Theta is out of the picture. Where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron. Well, we've seen Lambda already. Maybe Omicron. Guy Conrad. Oh, a family man. How much you want to bet I'm going to have to kill Guy Conrad too because Kathy tells me to. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine. Okay, Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and replacing it and placing it in my mouth before seeing her when I hear her announce completion I will bite down quickly ceasing my own causing my own demise when you discover the breath behind my something behind my death the truth behind my death 
No, there's no... No tragedy to mourn. For I am... Something. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mart Serang. Great. Oh. That makes things a lot easier. Um, to not frighten Catherine. Oh, Catherine was real. Or, was human. Want to hear an announce completion? Do not, there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. Okay. Thank you for the tip. Pavlina Martinu, the nature of identity. Kath Carthage, March 7, 2102. Mark Serang, Intelligence Analyst. Theta, Pathos 2. Mr. Serang, the company is very pleased to hear of your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you to appreciate what a unique opportunity this is, and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Jo jo uh, sorry, Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The Supervisory Board. Oh, nice. Oh. Great. Who? Wow. Uh, I don't know. Chem Lab. So I'm guessing you're wondering what all this is. More math. So you didn't know what this was when you were alive. Robin Bass. Oh. He died. Painfully. What was that? Don't do that to me with the music. Eh, what am I seeing with the... A seagull. A giant seagull. Eh. Eh, scoot. Well, there's no bullets to be had. Oh, hey, a document. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Serang and the continuity. Marin Martin Fisher. Oh, great. Uh, hello. Nothing here, nothing here. What was that? Oh, great. Well, that's going to be fantastic. Any access? Catherine. Kathy! Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories.
Journal. Okay. All right, Emojin Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but was, more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and Reed along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule pr project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the, vivi the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content. From the originating brain scan, Reed emerged. The Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique with using the pilot seats. They already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. Great. So she is the source of wanting to make sure everyone is saved. It was easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. So the WoW is putting people in the machines and I'm killing people? Nice! That's my theory. With the surprise and uh, sorry, my conspiracy theory. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the Ark project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Okay, Mark Serene killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. Nice. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Stroheim, Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it'll calm down. AR capsule. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence, turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed. Didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Yay. Catherine causing trouble. And I have to listen to her. A doll. You have a lot of toys. <laughs> Oh, jeez, lag. A cyborg teddy bear? Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Great. A breaking teddy bear. Ugh. This is gonna be fan frickin' t uh... Fan frickin' tastic. Hey! Showers! Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Eh, uh, guess that's a bathroom. A very high-tech toilet bathroom. Eh. Nothing here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Oh, my God.
Well, that's nice and spooky. I'm some kind of... Does it do anything different? I can't exactly see him clearly. Let me try this again. Okay, there we go. Oh, I am wow infected. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up in the chat real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta save humanity in some way. A nice and vast area. Cozy. Hmm. This is where I would store the ARC scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. Fast. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. He was in the memory chip. So, is it encounter time? Oh, blood. Nice. Oh, hey. Someone transferred into. This in is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Uh, Nanami composition. Compressed na Nakajima neurograph. Continuous time, 21 milliseconds. Captured, March 12, 2014. Wow. Nakajima Shin. Subject, Nanami. Sex, F. Birth, December 11, 1997. Death, July 17, 2021. Short lifetime. Nationality, Japanese. Whoa, we're not going to erase data. Berg. The paste files, Berg. Type, compressed Nakajima neurograph. Continuous time, 6 milliseconds. Captured, uh, April 28th, 2015. Author, David Munchie. Subject, Paul Berg, Sex M. Birth, November 27, 1984. Death, August 2nd, 2069. Nationality, Canadian. Munchie. Pace file is Munchie. Munchie. How did this... What is this? Compressed Nakajima Neurograph. Continuous time, 4 milliseconds. Uh, April 28, 2015. Author, Paul Berg. Name, David Munchie. Male, uh, October 4, 1980. Death, May 23rd, 2078. Nationality, Canadian. Two Canadians. Oh. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You oh. are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Oh, great. Am I not even real? Paste file, Simon Jarrett. Compressed Nakajima Neurograph, continuous time, 5 milliseconds, captured May 2nd, 2015. Okay. Oh, he, this guy didn't even live that long either. Simon Jarrett. Wow, he died in 2015. Oh, 
Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Okay. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Oh, the great. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. Yay. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. No, oh, great. Is that Munchie have any audio files? What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're very full earning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Data buffer. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab. The scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Great. Time to go back a little bit. Because I think we explored all we could in that little section. As much as you want to call it little. Server access. What was the other area? The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. Living quarters. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence platform already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really yeah, cool. Sure. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Yeah, I'm not so sure your Ark worked out. Thanks, Stromar. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. That sounds like a warning. 
I hear screaming. That can only mean good things. How you doing? Oh, great. A survivor. Well, I guess the one wants to keep him alive, too. Great. Fantastic. Oh, jeez. Hopefully it's just one. All right. Please reset router. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh god, 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 oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh Let's get through here and make it quick. Come on. No, you don't. Oh, jeez. Where are you? All right, let's get out of here. Because this guy is blind.
Mm, yeah. I did something. Just trying to figure out what. Yep, let's go up. Good job, Simon. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. Fatal Laboratory. Man, you're a bitch. <laughs> um, how do I get the door all the way open? Okay, I think I know where I'm at. We should try running a simulation from the chip you found. Someone must know the cipher. Um, the chip, chip, chip. Um. Yes, where I am. Level one, level two. Great. Nice big area. Oh, a lot of staff. And guests. Well, I'm kind of stuck. But, I think I've gone well over where I was originally intending. So, this is where I'm going to officially say this is the end of this stream for Friday on May 5th, 2017. Thank you for watching once again, and I am Just a Day Rama. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. See you guys next time. Love ya.